hello you guys and welcome to my channel so today we're going to be doing a haul y'all i have been waiting to do this haul for a long time i've been waiting for my perfumes to come in they've been taking so long so the day is finally here so before we get started you guys go ahead and make sure that you are subscribed to me make sure that you are following me on instagram my name is amber chantel spelled the same way and make sure that you like this video and if you don't like this video you can go ahead about your business so we have 11 perfumes y'all i actually hate when it be an odd number but whatever we have 11 and we're gonna go ahead and get started you guys because we don't need this to be too long so i got this around christmas time y'all already know i have ysl libre um but when i seen a bottle y'all <laughs> When I seen the bottle, this is all me. Like, this is me. This cheetah print, I said I got to have it. And anyways, like, the Libra that I have is a small 1.7 ounce anyway. And I was like, I can keep that one in the car and just keep this in my collection. It's so cute. I just had to have it, you guys. So, yes, I rebought this. Mm, I actually got lucky because I seen it at the store and I'm like, I'm not finna pay all that money for the same perfume that I have. But then I got on, uh, I put on my little glasses <laughs> when I got home and I got on Macari and I said, Ch -ch 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 -ch. Mm -hmm, let me see if I can find it. And baby, why pop up? Like it was one on there. That's how I know it was made for me. It was one on there and it was a good price and I snatched it up so quick. It probably was like sixty dollars. I was like, yes. And so I got her. Mm -hmm. Everybody know about Libre, so I don't gotta talk about the notes or none of that. We gonna go on to the next perfume. Uh, the next perfume is the Intense. So I went on and had to get her, you guys, because when I first smelled her, y'all, um, I was so excited because I love Libre. But when I first smelled her. When it first came out, I was just like, this smells the same. I don't want that. Like, they they trying it. But, oh. but when I really smelled them next to each other or whatever, actually, my boo -bae bought this for me for Christmas. But when I smelled them next to each other, uh -huh, I was just like, oh, I have to have that. I put it on my Christmas list. And um, I'm going to smell her again because I really haven't been spraying it. I really haven't been wearing it because I ain't been going nowhere. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> baby, this, mm, this is like the, it smells like, it does have the DNA of the original one, but this one is just deeper. It has more, um, has Tonka in it. It's just like a richness to it. Which is why it has this brown color. And y'all know I love a dark liquor. Mm -hmm. So it has that color. She's so cute. She's so cute and dainty or whatever. She's a class act. You know, look at her. She's very classy, just like myself. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Me and it's MJ and Becky. I, uh, I put their channels down below or whatever. I put their channels down below. We had a um a Christmas Secret Santa or whatever because we in the group chat. So we did a Secret Santa and I got Fragrenza Karma Rose. <laughs> I guess that's how you pronounce it. But I got this from MJ. And y'all, it smells so good. When I first opened up the package, I didn't even know what to expect. The bottle is so cute. It really is. And when I smelled it, I was in the living room and I sprayed it or whatever. And Dre was like in the kitchen. And he was like, it was like five, ten minutes later. He was like, did you spray something? I was like, yeah, he smelled it all the way in the kitchen. When I tell y'all, this last, this is a dupe of the Baccarat. You know, a little cute, little red one, a little popular one. I've never smelled that one, but I love anything that's supposed to smell like that. It smells bomb. This smells good as hell, y'all, for real. And it does, it's a unisex fragrance because he was like, 
He was like, that smell good. Like I could, I feel like I could wear that. I'm like, yeah, you could wear that. But don't be trying to wear it when I wear it. This just wear it. I really don't want him wearing it. I told him I'll probably buy him one. But anyways, yeah. So this smells so good, you guys. It's like a um a deep almond, uh woody, woody fragrance, sweet. It's it's so bomb. I be wearing this everywhere. It stays on you. The jacket that I put this on is still on. Like, this is a very strong fragrance. So, if you're looking for a dupe for the Baccarat, then this is where it's at. This one right here. So, thank you, NJ. I really appreciate it. I really love this perfume. I be wearing it all the time. All the time. Becky sent me the Lancome <laughs> Idol. And this is just a beautiful, just a beautiful rose fragrance. And when I tell you the performance of this is crazy, like this last, it's a very good fragrance. This is one of the ones like I used to always smell when I went through the mall and I would smell it and spray it on myself and it lasts. And I'd be like, I gotta get that, I gotta get that. But I never got around to getting it. So now I have it and this perfume still is like really expensive everywhere. And I got her. She's so cute. Mm -hmm. Real feminine fragrance. Real pretty. So thank you, Becky. I really love her. So this is the Jador by Dior. I'm actually kind of surprised that I'm just now getting this because it's always been on the radar. But I always just get other stuff instead. You know what I'm saying? Like, because Dior is just, you know, it's always going to be there. It's a classic. It's like... I'd rather get something else instead. But I finally went on and got her. And I'm sure everybody know what Dior smells like. I mean, it's so popular. When I went to the mall, it was so many uh, around Christmas time. It was so many men <laughs> buying this perfume, I guess, for they boo, they baby mama, they, gr they grandma, they mama, they aunties, they girlfriends. It was so many dudes like buying this perfume. Um, cause it's a very popular scent. I was like, look at him over there buying it. He probably buying it for uh his side chick or something. <laughs> like it smells so good. It's a to me, it definitely has it's some type of marine quality to this Dior. And I really love it. It's like a freshness to it. And it's just bomb, shoot. I love it. So yeah. This is the Dior Jador. The next perfume that we have is the Live Irresistible by Givenchy. EDT. Now, y'all know that I have the EDP, but I was on Fragrantica, right? And I kept hearing people say, like, you need to try the EDT. The EDT is better than EDT. Um, and I told y'all like the EDP I wore this year, but it's been sitting for a couple years because it was too sweet, way too sweet for me, but I did wear it this year. This one, ugh, it smells so good. You guys, this is bomb and I'm glad it was, um, suggested because the, the projection and everything is really good. It performs like an EDP and it's it's like it has the same notes of the EDP pineapple um vanilla no it's pineapple and caramel like that that pineapple and caramel is still here but it has like some red berries added to it it's like some freshness some rose in it oh this is so this is so good this is so bomb, like for real. This is so bomb. And it's like an all year round because it has a little kind of gourmand quality to it that you can wear it in the winter or the uh, fall, but you can wear this in the spring and summer too. Oh, she pretty, y'all. She is real pretty. So yes, this is the Live Irresistible. I'm so glad I have her. She's a keeper for sure. Now this perfume, you guys, this one was an impulse buy, I will admit, um, when I went to Ulta and I was Christmas shopping, I bought the Ocean Di Gioia 
and also because I smelled it and I'm like, oh, I gotta have it. I gotta have it. Oh, because y'all, I just love marine kind of perfumes. They kind of like my first love because I really fell in love with cool water when I was like in middle school. I used to always wear cool water, y'all. Middle school and high school, I was wearing cool water. Mm-hmm. Let me see if I can spray her. Mm. Ooh. Yeah, this smells so good. Now I see why I bought it. This smells so fresh. How about the air? Dijoya, um, because I needed all of the um Captain Planets, the sky, the air, the, the uh earth and just moon, all of that. <laughs> Y'all remember Captain Planet? So I went and bought the air. Fire, wind, water, heart, go planet. Captain Planet, he's the hero. That's probably too old for some of y'all. This is giving me more like airy, almost laundry-ish. So yes, you guys, I have the air and I have the ocean and I have the aqua still. I only have a little bit of that left. This is another one that I smelled at Ulta. I ain't buy it there though. I bought it at Macy's and it was on sale too when I bought it. Good sale. This is the Alien Mirage. When I seen it on sale, I was like, ooh, I gotta, I gotta have it. It's a sign. Y'all, why I, uh, I wrote it down or whatever, I spelled it like Minaj, like <laughs> Nicki Minaj. This is Alien Mirage. I guess it's for the barbs. Let's get into how beautiful and elegant and ugh, look at this bottle. Look at her. You know... This really does look like an alien, for real. But it's a sexy alien. It is a sexy little, cute little alien. Like she got a, she got a cape on. Like this, the cape. These her shoulders and stuff. Mm. Greetings, Earthlings. So it has mineral notes, lotus and amber. Y'all, I don't know what mineral, what a mineral smell like. What mineral notes is? Is it rocks? <laughs> Is it salt? It can't be salt because it would have said salt. So this smell like rocks. <laughs> ah, it smells like diamonds. I don't know. It smells like diamonds. But um, y'all know what minerals, mineral notes smell like. It's minerally. Minerally. Um this smells so good. I love it. It does have the DNA of alien which i like the dna of alien i like alien um but it's fresher it's fresher so when they say mirage they mean like uh you know what a mirage is it's like when you see something in a, in a desert like a what like a uh like some water you know it's something that's not really there it's like a daydream of water like that's what this smells like for real mm, i think it smells so good it's brighter. It's like a bright, sparkling, um, almost marine type of flanker of alien. Shalimar Souffle Intense. I was trying to decide if I want this. I was going back and forth like, am I going to like it? Because people were saying like it had a, I heard people talking about pine salt and all kind of stuff. But this has lemon in the top notes and um and it's but it's a vanilla perfume so yes so it's lemon vanilla and benzoin and i love benzoin and i love vanilla and so i said let's see what it's giving let's see what it's giving and i must say you guys this is a winner when you first when you first sniff it you do get what they was talking about. It smelled like some lemon pine salt a little bit. But that only lasts for like a minute. And then that goes away. And what you left with, ooh, what you left with. <laughs> mm, look at my stomach. It's a mirror on the side of me. Ooh, I've been going to the gym. You ever had those lemon bars? 
it's like a little pastry with like the lemon in there like a lemon meringue but it smells like that it smells so good and it the vanilla is so bomb like I love this. This smells so good, you guys. I'm so glad that I bought this because I don't have anything else that smells like this. It's an amazing uh, lemon vanilla. And the Benzon just <laughs> kicks it up a notch. It always kicks, kicks stuff up a notch, in my opinion. So, she's a keeper. Mind you, I was scared to actually try this because I don't like Shadow Mark. When you get older, your taste change. I probably like it now. Who knows? So my last perfume, and this is how I know that I'm getting older because I feel like this is the Jazzy Auntie perfume <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> this is a Chanel Allure. Y'all, when I used to smell perfumes, I always used to be like feel like this was an Auntie. Jazzy Auntie perfume. But I'm a Jazzy Auntie, baby. Still look good. I don't care. Um, but anyways, I am, but I really am like that because I have like some old, older-ish ways, but I'm still youthful, okay, and young-spirited. <laughs> this, um, Allure, I don't know why I'm just now getting it. It's so bomb. It's... It smells so good. It is like the perfect vanilla. It has vanilla, peach, and like woody notes. This is a wearable Chanel perfume. Like this is my speed. The Chanel Coco Mademoiselle, it smells good. It smells bomb, but it's not something that I would reach for every day. So it's not like, I don't feel like it's me. Like this perfume is me. Like when I smell it, it smells like me. Something that I would wear every day. Oh, it's so good. When I tell you it lasts, it's so smooth. It's so C-R-E-A-M-Y. <laughs> Y'all know I don't like that word. This could be a signature perfume for me. It's so bomb. It's something you could wear every day and get compliments every day. I, I don't see how anybody would not like this perfume. I mean, I did think that it was an auntie perfume, but... Excuse me, if aunties look like this, ain't nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, you guys, I'm done. Make sure that you are subscribed. Make sure that you like this video. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys later. Be yourself, love yourself. Bye-bye.